Greetings, Saber Rights, Anonymous here. Ryan joining me. Uh, a question that sometimes comes up, well not question, but it's a, a distinction which is uh, kind of needs to be made, especially as people are progressing from uh, uh, Shicho to Makashi or to some sort of single hand or single base, single hand based method, um, is a kind of confusion between drop parries and high guards. Um, what we're really talking about is when, when I go up into a full moon here or new moon here, right, I can come in with cuts like this, right, or I can come, on, or, or I can come in with um, uh, thrusts here like this. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to confuse this with a drop pair which is the thing in Shicho where we come here to the top. You can use drop parries in Makashi, they do exist, but at the student level we try to separate everything out so it's nice and simple. We're not using these as drop parries. What we're doing here is we're either using uh, it's a, some, sort, some sort of shifting parry where, I, where I'm coming up through here, you know, or lifting, pressing that way, and then I'm gonna come in with a cut. This circle around is where we're bringing the weapon back into line. It is not a drop parry and halo orbit. Okay, so we don't want to confuse that. Now the difference is this. Um, if I'm going to do a drop parry to this side here, he comes in there, I lift up this, and I try to bring it on the side. Now the, the uh, advantage for me here is to step inside his circle of influence there so that when I bring my weapon down, he doesn't have a chance to parry it. Okay, works from this side too. Right? There. And you can see I'm already inside his, 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 uh, his, uh, his area. So, come again. Even if he steps back when I step forward, I've still kind of got him on, on the run, okay? Um, so the uh, Makashi version of it, or we're from a hanging parry here or, or, or here, when I, yep, when I come over to here, I'm gonna parry it like this, and then I'm just gonna slip it out like that, okay? Now that's easier going to, that's probably going to use the photosphere or the chromosphere if you're following the Makashi stuff, okay, as far as the spheres go. So we start off here, when he comes in, he can come to either side, right, there. If I'm here like this, even though my blade is kind of pointed off to the diagonal, notice that it is, it is going towards him, right? It's, it's pointed towards him. And so that I'm not bringing it around, I'm not bringing it kind of going like this, I'm not going to do much of anything, I'm just going to disengage and bring it to there, okay? And go to this side here, right? So I'm here, come up, same thing, okay? Now, where people get mistaken is, we'll go to this side again, okay. is they'll see this as it comes around, right? And so they'll kind of register this position right here, and they're thinking that's a... That's a drop parry, which is a common mistake and easy to make, right? The difference is, if I were doing a one-handed drop parry on that side, right, I would probably do something with this hand to, again, step in, because that's really the, the advantage of the drop parry is to try to get inside of the other person's defenses, right? Whereas this one, this kind of turning strike, uh, chromosphere or photosphere strike, which will be a shim or shiak or, 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 or even a cho if you want, right? is going to come in, right, here, and you see, I don't really wait for it. Let's, let's go a little bit quicker here, right, is I'm coming in here like that. So that first, the first parry here, okay, come from my head. Oh, top of that, okay. Right, right, right there is the first parry, and then I'm in like that, okay? Or, even, top of he the comes head. to the top of the head, right, here, I can even back up and come on with it, okay? I can go to the side. Top of the hood. Yeah. Here, there, okay? All of these are possibilities, 
Okay? Um, just remember that they are two distinct types of things. And we're going to be focusing on keeping the blade active, moving, and kind of toward the opponent. We're dealing with Makashi. Um, and we're going to be looking to invade people's space and get inside with Shicho kind of breaking through. All right. Okay. Thank you, Ryan, for the, uh, helping me demonstrate. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. Happy safety.